Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome back once again to HVAC Tech. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to do a superheat and subcooling uh, into one air conditioning system. We're going to use a couple of tools. Uh, you're going to need, uh, first of all, a superheat calculator, like this one. You're also going to need your psychrometer, just like this one. And we're also going to need the gauges. And we're going to also need a, a voltmeter with the thermometer. By the way, we're putting the temperature uh, connected to the suction line. Why we put the temperature on the suction line? Because this is a, uh, um, a mirror device. So, as you guys can see from the close here, we have the evaporator, and right there you can see that mirror device. Um, if it was a TXV, then we could do some cooling, but, but in this case, this is a mirror device, right? So, let's start doing the steps. And the first thing they're gonna ask you on the superheat calculator, it says number one, indoor wet bulb. By the way, you have to look what it says superheat in non TXB. Number one says indoor wet bulb. We need to get a number using your psychrometer, okay? Make sure you put your psychrometer into the wet bulb, which it says right here wet, and it's giving you some numbers, okay? So now it says you're supposed to take this in the indoor or air return from the furnace. So let's go down here into return air and um, you can see the number is going 55 and going a little bit lower this is the return air of the furnace and let's just go with um, 54 even though it's 55 there you go it's 54 so let's go back here now we'll put the tool here and let's go with 54 degrees wet bowl we're gonna slide this into you see 54 and it's right there okay that's the first step the second step, it says here, condenser air dry bulb. So you gotta grab your thermometer uh, and change to regular air temperature. What we're gonna do, just press the button, and uh, where is it, right here? Yep, yeah. that's percentage. That's the, one second, make sure that it says just, oh, there it is. All right, that's Celsius. One second, what was that? That's right here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's right there. Okay, this is the percentage of humidity. Actually, it's right here. This is the temperature we're looking for. This is regular temperature of the ambient air. This is pretty much outside the house. So it says 69.6. Let's go next to the condenser. Let's put it next to the condenser. This is where you're going to check your... Um, it says condenser air dry bulb temperature. 69. Let's just keep it at 70 because 69 is kind of, kind of cold. So just let's keep it at 70 and run it up to 70. And that's good enough. That's your step two. Condenser air drywall is gonna be 70. Let's look for 70 and it's right there, 70, 70 degrees. So it's equal to required superheat is seven. So now you need to remember this number. Do not forget about this number because we're gonna use it in the next step. All right, number seven. Now, step, um, uh, step three, it was the seven, requires superheat. Step four, now we're gonna go to the pressure, vapor pressure. So we gotta look at the gauges, come close. And the pressure in the system right now is actually 55 PSI. All right, so let's move this chart all the way to 55. But there's a problem right now, which is 60. There's no more lower than 55. I'm gonna tell you why there's no 55, there's only 60. Right now, I can tell you the units on the charge, but let's just keep it at 60, all right? Now, remember the number seven, the superheat, which is a step step five. We move to step five, and we're looking at a uh, superheat of seven, which if you go up, it tells you that right here, it says five, six, seven. If you go up into the number up here, which is number six, it's gonna be 42. So what it says, the table says the Step number six is supposed to be 42 degrees for the uh, temperature of the suction line, okay? So we have the voltmeter right here connected or attached to the temperature of the suction line. So this number here is supposed to be 42. And right now it's 67. So like I said before, the unit should have a 44, 42 degree suction line and a 60, 66. That means the system is under charge. Okay? So, so far, right now, this unit needs more freon. Uh, by the way, you can see on the pressure here, let's go back here. 
you can see on the pressure it's supposed to be at least 62 psi but it's 55 so right there it's telling you the system needs free amp. you know but the whole purpose of this is just to show you how do you how to follow these steps one more time real quick just to recap number one is the wet bulb return air from the furnace number two is the return air from the condenser outside the house number three is you superheat the one that comes on the number number four is the pressure of the system and number uh, five is the superheat that you find out and number six is the temperature of the suction line in the vapor suction line okay so in this case in this problem the system is on the charge it's supposed to have a 44 degree and it's 60 65 so it is, it's on the charge if you follow the instructions here it will tell you here in this instructions it says you add if the temperature of the suction line it doesn't um it doesn't um it's, it's not the same temperature as a as a superheat you're going to have to add some free okay so well that's it uh that's something really really quick um hopefully you guys understand this uh, uh basic steps maybe later on if we can do another one and try to do the sub cooling um the, the same table it actually gives you also the sub cooling um, just to let you know this is easier because there's only three four steps for the sub cooling it says the liquid line temperature number a you gotta find out the pressure of the system for the r22 uh, b requires sub cooling you guys are going to be using 10 all the time and c it requires liquid line temperature and as you match it it's going to tell you what temperature the liquid line is supposed to be and then this one you're not connected to the suction line you're going to connect it on the liquid line Okay, so I'm giving you guys this video, uh, especially most for my students, um, uh, for the night class students. But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys understand me and everything it should be fine. If you have any questions, you can text me. Uh, but you, you guys gotta, you gotta, you gotta have to do this work. Okay, so see you guys later and uh, take care.